like to thank the judge, the audience, and the affirmative team for working, even though if their case is some subtle. First, I would like to cover their plan. For their plan, they said they're going to use laser beam technology. Well, I have evidence that laser beam technology is dangerous. Wolfgang Bansel author, 2011. Transmission of energy through the atmosphere has not yet yeah, been done at a large scale. It is successful in commercial utilization and still under question. The ionosphere, the electrically charged protein of the atmosphere will be significant barrier to transmission. This shows that they can't use the laser beam technology. Now I'd like to move to their add-on advantage. They said that they're more likely to find extraterrestrial life. Well, if we're, we're not, we can't go there, we can't colonize those planets to find the extraterrestrial planet. Space colonization is impossible. Distance are too large. Large and planets are inhospitable. Donald F. Robertson, freelance space journalist, 2006. Our any parts of the solar system can be accomplished. Our almost certainly wrong major rules in the solar system. Everyone is irritably hostile to human life. We are, we, we and our willful indicator chemical rockets are like Stone Age. Travel preparing to cast off in cannons, reaching for barely visible islands over a freezing storm tossed North Atlantic. Now I'd like to move to this side. Affirmative extinction body A. Affirmative votes that we explore and colonize. Goldilocks. B. Goldilocks planets affects people with X rays and ultraviolet radiation. Jason teach freelance content writer with the experience of tech writing. Tuesday, May 15, 2012. Of, of course, before we start packing, there's some uh, additional info to keep in mind. The Goldilocks planets orbiting red dwarfs are closer to their respective star than the Earth is to the Sun. And for this reason, they are susceptible to, to stellar eruptions of flares that could cover them in ultraviolet radiation and X-rays. C. Ultraviolet radiation causes cancer. Must must more uh, Department of the Dermatology, Kansai Medical University, Oslo, 2004. Ultraviolet radiation presents in sunlight and is the environment until human carcinogen. The toxic effects of the UV from the natural sunlight and the, the therapeutic artificial lamps are a major concern for human health. The major acute effects of the UV the irradiation on a normal human skin compromise sunburn inflammation, tanning and local stomatic suppression. At the molecule level, UV radiation causes DNA damage which, which cyclobutane, pyrimidine dimers and photo products which are really which are usually repaired by nucleotide excision repair. D. Cancer has no cure. Christopher Angie, dead, author, four years after moon landing, 2009. But with $200 billion spent on tens of millions of cancer deaths accumulated since the 1971, most, most of us would say we are losing the war on cancer. Cancer is top killer worldwide, responsible for 7.4 million or 13% of all deaths annually. In America, cancer will soon overtake heart disease and top killer, claiming are, are than a half million lives annually. Part of the reason for having no cancer cure is semantics. There will never be a single cancer cure because cancer is referred to a family of more than 100 different diseases characterized by abnormal cell growth. This disease arises from numerous causes such as ionizing radiation chemicals or even viruses. Different cancers call for different treatments. E. Cancer is the leading cause of, for deaths every year. Rennie Tombley, author 2005. In the 1971, when the President Richard Nixon declared war on cancer, heart disease was the number one killer of Americans. Now, a new American Cancer Society report reveals that since the 1999 cancer has surpassed heart disease as the primary cause of death in the people in this country, younger than age 85. The report published in January 
in February issue of the Cancer a Cancer Journal for so consults that although rates of death due to the cancer and heart disease are both falling. Those for heart disease are falling faster in people younger than age 85 who make up 98% of the population and whose deaths account for 72% of all deaths annually. In the 2002, the latest year for which mortality figures are available cancer was responsible for the 4,700 deaths and heart disease for 4,400 deaths in that age category. Vote negative. So to conclude, so voting for the for the negative team is again going to be suicidal because because people are going to die by the by these ultraviolet radiations if we if we if we colonize and export these uh, plants, which are going to lead to cancer and lead lead to ninety eight of the population to die. Person, thank you. Can I please have your disc out? Sure. Um, can you hurry up? Because my partner will use okay. it. Um, also, um, so in your disc out, oh, you said for the laser beam technology? Yeah. Can, I, can you tell me there was the difference between the, the concepts of interferometry okay. and laser beam? Where did I put that? Where did I put what is the difference between a laser beam technology and the concept of interferometry? It just means that it's going to be dangerous. Laser beam technology is going to be dangerous and which effect will affect our population to reduce. So the concept of interferometry is dangerous. It's just a laser beam. No, it is. It is dangerous. Laser beam is dangerous. And it's going to cause our population to decrease, and which is a bad thing here. Okay, are we subject to x-rays and ultraviolet rays here on Earth? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you.